Hello students, in this video we begin our discussion of the construction of the natural numbers by stating the piano axioms. So the piano axioms are going to help us construct the natural numbers. So we suppose that there is a set. I'm going to write this set as bold n called the natural numbers. So we're going to suppose this set exists. There are going to be five axioms which define this set. The first axiom, axiom one, is that there is a number called one in this set. That's the first axiom, that the number one is in this set. So one is a natural number. The second axiom, and this is the axiom which helps me to define further numbers in the set, for each n in n, so for each element n in n, each natural number, there is a unique natural number s of n. And this number s of n is called the successor of n. This successor of n is going to play a very important role in the construction process. So for every natural number, every natural number has a successor which is still a natural number. Successor. Let's talk about the next axiom. Let's do, now the next couple axioms will help me understand the successor function. So axiom number three says that one is not equal to, is not equal to any successor for any n and n. So in other words, one is not the successor of any number. And we can sort of think in the back of our minds, since the natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we should think of the successor of 1 as 2, the successor of 2 as 3, etc. And so in that context, thinking of the successor that way, we know that 1 is not the successor of anything. It's the starting point of the natural numbers. It's the first, in some sense, natural number. So 1 is not the successor of any number. That relates. That's the first property of the successor function. Axiom number 4 is going to relate the second property, which says that if s n, if the successor of n is equal to the successor of m, then that implies that n is equal to m. In other words, the successor function is an injective function. That's what the fourth axiom states. And then finally, the fifth axiom is of a different vein, but it's also very, very useful for us. The fifth axiom is axiom five. It's the axiom of induction. Axiom five says that if I have a set m, which is a subset of n, with the following two properties, with the, property, with the first property, so we'll call it property i, if 1 is in m, and property 2 states that if little m is in m, this implies that the successor of m is in m. If these two properties are true of the set m, then these two properties imply that the set m is the set of natural numbers. So these five axioms are going to help us construct all the natural numbers, and these axioms are referred to as the piano axioms. So axioms one through five, axioms one through axiom five, axiom five are the piano axioms. Now, in different textbooks, you'll see different definitions of the axioms. In different textbooks, you might have a shorter collection or a little bit of a longer collection, adding on some axioms about equality and things like this. We're not going to get too much into the mathematical logic of this. We'll just use these axioms as a way to construct the natural numbers and worry about the finer questions of logic in a different course. Thank you very much.